Hey, Ron Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the AKC's TBU405 Pro Max. This is a Thunderbolt dual drive enclosure and docking station. First of all, a disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company and in this video I'll just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether this is worth the money. Alright, let me give you the bottom line up front. This is a functional design with many useful ports and the build quality is solid with the all metal construction. So here there is a USB 3.1 type A port. This is full size HDMI that can support 4K 60Hz. This USB C is for power so you have to use the 100 watt charger which is included and this has power pass through so it can charge your laptop or tablet up to 60 watts and that's the button for the fan the fan is actually located at the top so this will take air in and exhaust the air out from the sides the two sides this enclosure will need power to work because there are two ssd inside to power there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports, so this will connect to the computer. And this is for file transfer and for video transmission. And those are the status light for the two SSDs and for the PC connection. Unfortunately, there is no status light for the fan. The fan is almost silent, so unless I put this next to my ear, I can barely hear the fan at all, which is why having a status light for the fan is useful so i mean this product works really well and the uh, file transfer speeds are shown on the screen right now so you can do a software read with the two ssds in the enclosure and these are the transfer speeds you can get with the different configurations all the configurations are fast enough for editing 8k videos so what's the difference between the TBU405 Plus versus the TBU405 Pro Max? Well, it's just a variety of ports. So on the Plus model, you get two display ports, and this is actually the selling point for this model. So if you use display ports, this is the one to get. There are two USB Type A's with USB 3.1 transfer speeds. Now this USB Type C unfortunately does not transmit video. And this is Thunderbolt as well. There is power input, but if you're just using this as an external storage, uh, you do not need to connect power. So this can only hold one NVMe SSD. And this also features the toolless design. I find the ports on the Pro Max model to be more useful because HDMI is more common and there is USB Type A and USB Type C for power. So I tested this enclosure with WD Black SN770 NVMe SSD which is a Gen 4 SSD and installation of the SSD is really simple you just pop it inside and you use this rubber stopper to hold the SSD down and there is also thermal paste included so you should apply that so this RKC's enclosure and docking station is actually not that much bigger compared to this Thunderbolt 4 enclosure that I have and this can only hold one NVMe SSD so this can hold two so in theory you can go up to 16 terabytes of storage oh one thing i almost forgot to mention is when i connected this to my macbook pro and i connected this to this i wasn't able to get this thunderbolt 4 drive to uh, work for some reason it could not be detected and lastly let's look at the items included with the purchase so this is the packaging box and this is the product specification. These are all the items. This is a Thunderbolt 4 USB-C to USB-C cable. This is a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. User manual. 
rubber stoppers to hold down the NVMe SSD. And this is to hold down the NVMe SSD as well. So these are instructions on how you can use this. So you're supposed to break this so that you can use it with the shorter NVMe SSDs. Three pieces of thermal pad. This is the 100 watt. This charger actually uses a universal connector design. So you can actually buy interchangeable plugs and just attach it to the charger. And this uses a USB-C port. The last thing I want to mention is how you can get RAID 0 or RAID 1 to work with the enclosure. If you are using Windows, these are the instructions on how you have to format the drives and how you have to assign the drives to get the RAID to work. If you are, well, there are a lot of instructions. If you are using Mac OS, you can just use disk utility and the uh, setup process is pretty straightforward. So should you use this with RAID 0, RAID 1 or use it as JBOD, just a bunch of disks? Well, it really depends on your workflow. Just note that regardless of how you use this, you should always have another backup to this. Let me give you an extreme example. Let's say this catches fire or your house catches fire or if you lose this or if someone stole this from your back, then you would have lost all your data. So it's always good to have a separate backup to this. All right, to conclude, this is a good product because it has a lot of utility. And I like this a lot more compared to this Thunderbolt enclosure that can only hold one NVMe drive. With this, you can hold two drives and there are many useful ports. Yes, it is expensive, but you do get what you pay for. So if you guys are interested to buy this, you can use the affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below to support my YouTube channel and the work that I do here.